When trying to work out how much deposit you need, knowing where you buy your property can make a big difference as to the amount of deposit that you need. Let me explain. The reason why it matters where you buy your property is because lenders view different suburbs differently. Some suburbs are considered to be more risky than others. And lenders, to reduce their risk, will require a bigger deposit. So in other words, they will impose a restriction on certain suburbs. And you need to know which suburbs have what restrictions. Let me give you an example. Let's imagine that you're a first home buyer. You've been able to put together a 5% deposit. You've decided to buy your first home in Westminster in WA. After a few weeks of visiting numerous home opens, you finally found two properties. They happen to be the same price, $340,000. Now, as you can see, one of the properties, house one, will require a 5% plus cost deposit, so at least $17,000. Whereas house two, exactly the same price, on the same street, will require a $34,000 plus cost deposit. What's the difference? The difference is that the lender that you've spoken to has a restriction on Westminster in WA and especially on strata title property. Any strata title property for that lender requires a 10% deposit, not a 5% deposit. So you can see it can make a difference. So what do you do if you are in that situation? Well, you look for a lender that doesn't have a restriction in that particular suburbs. Because remember, even though some lenders have some restrictions on some suburbs, they're not all the same. If you like the video, make sure to like it, make sure to share it. And if you've got any questions and you want to talk about your particular circumstances, you want me to look at particular suburbs, you can reach out by booking a free 20-minute call with me. Bye.